Have you ever had a hard time releasing something? Have you ever had a hard time of figuring out how to let something go? Because it's eating away at you. It's bothering your spirit. First thing you need to do is get away from people that tells you not to talk about it. That shushes you every time you try to release. Oh, stop telling you to talk about that over and over again. It's bothering your spirit. That's why you're talking about it. Have you ever had somebody to tell you, you know what? You ain't forgiven. That's why you're holding on to that stuff. And that's why that, that thing is eating away at you. No, it's not that that's holding unforgiveness. And that's, that's why that's eating away at them. What is going on is they're not able to release what's bothering them. And if you were a friend and you were trained in that area, you would tell them, vent, get it out. Everything that bothers you. Do you know that you can go before God and do the same thing? Do you know that he will hear you and he will help you release that thing? It's things that have bothered me from my childhood. It's things that bothered me in my life recently. Uh, people, places, things, you know, we're going to be offended in life. Okay. But it's the way you deal with things and handle things. I went to the Lord personally myself about things that would bother me or people that bothered me. And I would say, Lord, I want to forgive, but how do I do it? And people will say, well, just let it go. Just let it, let that go. Let that go. People are so quick and fast to tell you, let that thing go. And, but the thing is, it's not that you don't want to let it go. It's just that you don't know how to let it go. And the thing is how you let something go is you talk about it. That's why you have therapists. That's why you have counselors, people that you can go sit down and talk to people that are trained and professional. They know how to uh, bring it out you. And when you're open and wide and you get it out, they know how to close and shut you back down. It's very wise. And, and um, you got to be very wise and strategic at it though. That's why they're professional at it because you can leave somebody wide open and they can leave your office stark, raging, mad person. But this is what we need to stop doing as a people. Stop telling people, let it go. Don't talk about it at the same time. What goes in a man is not what defiles him, but what comes out of that man. That is Matthew 15 and 11. What, go, what, what comes out of that man's mouth is what defiles that man. Why? Because what's, in that, what's coming out of that man's mouth is in that man's heart. That's troubling that man. That's hurting that man. It's trauma. It's drama in that man. So whatever is down on the inside of you that's troubling you, release it today and allow God to work that thing out of you and heal you. Uh, a lot of things, um, you know, when you're cleaning an attic or cleaning anything out, a cupboard, a refrigerator, or anything that has an open door, you have to clean it out for it to become clean. You can't just leave it in there and, and, and spray around it or wipe around it. You have to remove those things. That's the same thing with our body. And things that we're going through and people say says things that bother us and hurt us, we have to be able to release that in our spirit, release that out of us. And everything you talk about, everything that ever bothered you, I want you to get a, a book, a journal, and, and write down everything that ever hurted you, everything that ever bothered, every, anything that ever bothered you, write it down. And what you do is when you write it down, you get before the Lord and you tell the Lord everything about it. Everything about everything that you just wrote down that bothers you and you bring it to the Lord and you pray about it. That's the way to release. I told God one day, I said, you know what, Lord, I just have to, I just have to say it. You know, whatever it is that bothered me, I had to say it. I was like, Lord, I have to say this because this bothers me. And, and I know you know my heart. So I'm just going to go ahead and be honest because you see and know all anyway. The heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it but God? Okay. So I tell the Lord, this bothers me. This is, this, 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 I don't think this is fair. I don't like the way I was treated. I don't like the way I was mishandled. Um, I don't like how this went down. Um, it just seems like um, everything is always on my end. It shouldn't have turned out like this. Whatever the situation may be. I brought it to the Lord and I talked to him about it. I didn't say, well, maybe I shouldn't say that because then God, you know, that might come across kind of wrong. He already know how it's going to come across. He knows your mind. He knows your thoughts are far off. He knows what ways you think. He know our ways is not his way. Our way, his ways is not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. He know that you're going to come to him with that before you came to him with that. So whatever it is that's down on the inside of you, that's bothering you today. Don't listen to the church mother's 
pray about it, baby. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Shh. That's the problem now also in the church. They shush you. They, they shut you down before you can get it out. And then they wonder why you're walking around there, have can't get a breakthrough. You, you look like you didn't chew a bunch of lemons before you came to service because things bother you. You see things, you hear things, those things affect you. That's why we have to protect our eye gates and our ear gates. We have to watch what we see and hear. It can affect our spirit. Okay. Excuse my glasses. It, it, it affects our spirit. And so what we have to do is things that bothered you in your childhood or, or now to back then to now release, get that out your spirit by releasing it. And how you release it is you talk about it. If you have to go to a professional, make sure if you got a good friend that you can vent to, you know, Make sure you vent, get it out. Let the, just don't sit there and tell your friend, don't say nothing. Just let me get it out. Let me say how I feel and, and allow them, uh, let them allow you to speak and get it out so you can release that thing and then turn it over to God and say, this is what bothers me. But the best way to do it was the first time. Go to him and talk about it. If you, if you don't, uh, if you're not uh, familiar and you're uncomfortable, you know, God is a loving God. He knows all, he sees all, he hears all, he understands. He will work it out for you. I'm a living witness. I have been through things like this in my life and it was so hard for me to let things go. It was so hard for me to get on there, get on here even and talk about it because I would hold it in because for so many years as a child coming up, I was always told, shut up. You run your mouth too much. Don't, don't talk about this. Don't talk about that. You're not, to, you're not supposed to talk about it or whatever because I was, I was breaded in that. But at the same time, I was never getting healed. I was never being able to vent because I was always holding it, holding it in. And, and one day I, I asked the Lord, I said, how do I let it go? Lord, how do I let things go that bothered me? You know, that hurt me from, from, from childhood to now or whenever, how do I let it go? And it was just simply just, just do what you just did. Tell God all about it. Tell them how you feel because people will make you feel bad. They will make you feel petty as if they ain't went through nothing in their life. Like they just didn't get done venting to a friend. Like they just didn't get done going through a trauma or a drama, something that happened in their life, something that bothered them. But when it comes to you, they want to point the finger and say, you know what? She, she complained too much. It's not complaining. It's a difference from complaining when somebody is doing something and you're, and you're supposed to be grateful for it. And then you go on and complaining about, you know, I know they, help me, but that wasn't enough. That's complaining things that, you know, God has brought you out of and helped you out of that's complaining that you going on and murmuring and, and complaining. But when something hurting you down on the inside and your spirit man needs to be healed, you need to be able to release that thing to God and say, Lord, this bothers me. I know you see it. I know you, you, you heard it. I know that you seen them throw their rock and hide their hand. You seen how that situation turned out and it seemed like it all fell on me. It just seems like, and feels like I was a scapegoat in it, Lord God. And this bothers me. And I want to be able to release this thing. And I want to say how I feel about it. And Lord, I'm telling you how I feel about it. And I need for you to do something about it, Lord, because I want to be set free. I want to be healed. I want to be delivered. And I don't want to go back to this thing. I want to be free from it. So I need you to cleanse me and wash me, Lord God. Whatever it is that's down on the inside of me, that's not like you, remove it from me, Lord God, because this is destroying me. It's causing spiritual autoimmune disease. And that's what happens. An autoimmune disease is when your body and your organs turn on itself. Spiritually, we turn on ourselves. We say things about ourselves. We tear ourselves down because why? We either going to tear ourselves down before somebody else do it because that's where we're used to. And we feel like that's our comfort zone. And we have to say things that's going to make them feel better because that's going to get you off my back. You're going to leave me alone. If I just talk about myself, you won't bother me. You know, but that don't work because you know what? God loves you. Hallelujah. God had me look in the mirror one day and tell myself, tell yourself you love yourself. Regardless of what they told you, you wasn't going to amount to anything. You don't look about nothing. You're not the uh, the, the size the, of, a, of a petite woman. You're not uh, uh, light enough. You're not dark enough. Your hair is not silky enough. Uh, it's not long enough. Forget those things that people told you. I created you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in me. You are my workmanship. That's what God feels about you. He loves you so much that he knows the number of hairs on your head. So whatever is bothering you today, release that thing to God. Release it to God. Tell him everything you feel. Tell him all about it. Tell him, I mean, I mean, go down to the core of it and, and, and ask God, help me. 
Help me release this from me so I can be free. So, cause you know why? Because when that, when, when, when that frees you up, you're able to have a clear mind. You're able to have a positive spirit. And when people are around you, they will enjoy being around you. They'll see that whatever was bothering you, that negative spirit is off of you. And also God can use you the way that he wants to use you, but God can't use you all messed up. You can't, you're not going to be able to witness to nobody. You're not going to be able to do the work that God has called you to do because you have this hindrance inside of you that you've been holding on to and it's making you look like the bad person all because somebody said shh don't talk about that let it go let that stuff go that stuff oh that stuff this that stuff that yeah it's old stuff you're right that's down on the inside of you that you need to be released from so that you can start a new chapter in your life don't listen to nothing nobody got to say if you got a friend or they call themselves a friend or whatever that's around you of anybody that's telling you i don't care what position they hold what title they hold who they are if you got something down on the inside of you that's bothering you that you need to be released from to need to be free and they're telling you shh don't talk about it run from them get away that's the only way you're gonna be healed and i just thought i'd share this with you all because i'm telling you now therapy really has worked for me and i'm able to express how i feel i'm able to function more better i sleep better at night because i don't hold things in that that, I, that used to make me toss and turn and wished i would have said this or i should have handled it that way no i'm able to be free from that thing I'm able to go right directly to the root of the problem. And I went to the one that's the problem solver. I went to God about it. Go to God about it. Hallelujah. That's why they have all, they have therapists. They have, they have counselors. Like I said, people in professionalism, they, they know what they are doing. You know what I'm saying? Stop going to them ones that's calling themselves professionals or, or mean church mothers look like they sucking on lemons. And they want to shush you up. They don't want you to get it out because them themselves, they don't understand. Someone never hurt like you before. Some don't understand how that feels. So you got to get with somebody that's going to understand how you feel. And the only person I know that's capable for that position is God. Thank you, Jesus. He sends therapists. He sends uh, uh, counselors in our life. He is the counselor. Hallelujah. He didn't say we couldn't have a counselor, but he is the counselor. He's a wonderful counselor. Hallelujah. It says that in the word of God, but go to him and get whatever you have off your chest so that you can be free and that you can live your best life and you can do and be who God has called you to be without any hindrances and without any hurt and pain that's from your past that's been holding you back. I hope I help somebody today be encouraged and God bless you in the name of Jesus.